Hi there, Wycliffe Barrett, XPD Sim Deck Tutorial Rotate MD11F Part 2. MD11 powering on and FMC config. Now then, I need to say that um, when I did the previous video, when I was talking about configuring the uh, flight deck, I said that you had to use a text file for the flight plan. Well, it's amazing, isn't it? In the last couple of days, Simbrief have actually brought out their uh, uploader or downloader. Uh, all you need to do is configure the downloader so that the flight plan will go to the right place, which is the same as it was when I, when I saved the text file. But here you have it. With the uh, Simbrief downloader, it will download the flight plan complete with SID stars and everything. So you just use the downloader and then you can load up the flight plan in company route, Synco route on the FMC. So today we're gonna to power up the aircraft. Straightforward, really straightforward. One thing I will say is that I'm not a real world pilot. So, you know, this is as per tutorial. So the first thing we need to do is locate the bat. I put the cursor on so you can see what's happening. Turn on the batteries. Excellent, and uh, now we need to do a um, fire test. So there's the fire test button up on the top right. That's working perfectly. Now we need to, uh, if I recall, <laughs> go into here and get the power, ground power. You see the ground power is available and you hit the switch and it does take a while for the uh, ground power to become fully available but you can see all the lights are on now and now we can do the light annunciation test which is uh, down here and this shows you all of the lights so we need to check all of these and make sure there are not none are out so they're all lit also at the same time you can uh, do that light annunciation test again and you can see all the lights on the on the uh, on the main panel also the crosses on all of the displays are showing that that's all correct as well. So now we can set the IRUs and when you do that you'll get the cargo test lights and sound. You can also do this manually if you wish you and click on it so it's a manual test as well but it is done automatically as you set the IRS's. So next we can set up the uh, FMC. Once you've got to this stage, you can set up the FMC. So we're gonna go into the FMC here. Unfortunately, it's not pop out, but you need to do aircraft status, check that, and make sure everything's all right. And we go to the flight plan initialization page. And as I stated earlier, what I've done, I've used the downloader. So it's just a case of putting the uh, departure and arrival airport in. So it's Echo Golf Foxtrot Foxtrot. Lima Golf Alpha Victor and put it into the top there and of course you see it and it's populated the flight plan it hasn't done the weight initialization page we'll go back to that where the flight plan is inputted we just need to put in a flight number of course so this is FedEx FedEx 2302 2, so flight in there, uh, then al align the IRS. Here I'm going to put my uh, cruise level, which is uh, 370. Just click clear that. And then uh, the CI, which is 50, which is a recommendation in the, um, in the tutorial. Now we need to go to the flight plan plate, flight plan age and do the dis, uh, departure so it's the SID out of Cardiff runway 30 and it's the uh, Exmoor 1 Alpha sorry Brecon 1 Alpha and then we scroll to the bottom of the plan there might be an easier way of doing this oh there's a discon discontinuity let's get rid of that scroll to the bottom of the plan make sure everything's there but I do think there might be a, an easier way of actually getting to the destination so that you can actually uh, put your uh, arrival in there. So there's a star, uh, and we're going on uh, two one left, I think. Yeah, two two one left Yankee, and it's a uh, Astor one 
Charlie arrival I believe there's another discontinuity so let's get rid of that clear that one continue checking here's another one so let's clear that as well so I believe all discontinuities are now clear yeah so we can go through the whole plan and there is the flight plan so now we go to the uh, flight plan initialization page and this is where of course you need your data sorry take off uh, take off an approach page so this is where you need your data as well um, so it's going to be flat 15 uh, outside air temperature and these numbers here Client trust numbers you have to type those in so 177 1720 3220 and then click the line keys next to them. the last the last number on the right hand side you don't need to do that for just the first two okay um, slope and wind I, I just put zero slash zero um, I'm sure that there is another way but you it's very difficult to find the slope of the, of the runways here just checking everything now in terms of uh, fuel and weights and balances um, and I've clicked on that so it's put all of that data onto the left hand side there yeah just checking all that through you just need to go back now to take off an approach page and there we have our V speeds just click on those on the left hand side let's clear that align IRS on the other FMC and that is the flight plan and the FMC configured so we've got power onto the aircraft yeah we haven't started the engines but we've got power onto the aircraft and the FMC is programmed now in the next one in the next tutorial what you'll see is actually um, starting the APU and ensuring that we get out to uh, the taxiway the one thing that I didn't show you was the hydraulic test and you do need to set the hydraulic test on this um, which is I think I did in the first part but not here in the second part so it, it is an excellent aircraft um, as I say there's a couple of bugs so hopefully they'll get ironed out but it is a marvelous aircraft and I thoroughly enjoy flying it and configuring it I hope you find this video useful we'll see you soon you tell take care now cheerio